Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm reviewing the AirPods Pro. So I've been using these since they came out. I do have a few opinions and a few thoughts that I want to share with you in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, here is the box and here is the case. The case is a little bit redesigned. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I want to talk about the overall design of the AirPods because I think Apple could have done a more drastic redesign. However, uh, because the AirPods are so iconic and they have that look that most people can recognize, I think Apple wants to keep that classic AirPods stem uh, just so people would recognize the AirPods out in public. Because honestly, half of owning AirPods is people making jokes about you and how much you flex with your AirPods. So I think Apple wants to keep a very similar design to the original AirPods. However, the original AirPods now, when I compare them to the AirPods Pro, uh, in my opinion, they look slightly outdated. So we're gonna do all those comparisons in this video. First, let's go ahead and compare the cases uh, of the original AirPods. So here are the AirPods Pro, of course, and I have the second generation AirPods with the original design. So if we flip the AirPods Pro case vertically, uh, it's pretty much the exact same size. I think the case is maybe a millimeter thicker. And as you can see, it's a little bit taller. Not much of a trade off though, for how much more you get with the AirPods Pro. Uh, it does open horizontally now. So the original AirPods, as you can see, open like this on the top and the stems kind of come out on the AirPods Pro you can see they open like this. I found that the hinge is a little bit more durable when it opens like this. As you can see, the hinge goes onto both pieces, the top and the bottom. And on the original AirPods, the hinge is only on the bottom part of the lid. I actually had some issues with durability on my hinge on the original AirPods. So this is nice to see that they improved it on the Pro. Another very small change I noticed with the AirPods Pro is a very, very tiny difference when you take the AirPods out that kind of make your life a little bit easier. So when you take the AirPods Pro out of the case, they are already in the perfect position to put in your ears. All you have to do is take them out and you can put them inside your ears like this. Now, if we compare them to the original AirPods, you actually had to do kind of a twisting motion when you took them out. So as you can see, the stems are centered in the middle of the original AirPods. And if we compare them to the AirPods Pro, the stems are on the outside. So a very small change but on the original airpods when you took them out you'd have to take them out like this and then kind of flip them to put them in your ear so a very small change but it is something i notice that just makes putting the airpods in your ear a little bit nicer so the AirPods Pro do come with three tip sizes. I have the small size on my AirPods Pro. I think I might need an extra small. I don't know why my ear canals are so small. Uh, tell me in the comments what size you guys are using, but I find the medium and large to be extremely big, uh, at least for me. So this is what the, uh, the little case looks like that the extra ear tips come in. Uh, just pull the tab, it opens up like this, and you can take out the extra sizes there. So uh, it comes pre-installed with the mediums installed, but I had to switch it to the small just to get it to uh, fit my ear a little bit better. So in terms of sound quality, it's kind of weird that we're talking about sound quality uh, in a headphone that Apple actually made smaller year over year, but sound quality is actually improved with the AirPods Pro, which is pretty impressive considering that they were able to make the AirPods Pro smaller and lighter and overall less volume. So I do notice a difference in the mids and the highs. I don't really notice a change with bass. I know most people say because they're noise canceling headphones, uh, you are going to get a little more bass and a little more responsiveness on the low end. However, I am not seeing this with the AirPods Pro. I'm having the same issue uh, with lack of bass as I was on the original AirPods. So sound quality, they're AirPods, they're not gonna be audiophile headphones, they're gonna sound good enough, and with the noise canceling enabled, you are gonna get that little extra sound quality improvement. So of course, it's kind of a cliche at this point, but Apple is known uh, historically for being kind of that company that sells products that just work and are kind of magical. And one of the magical features, if you could call it that, is when you put the AirPods Pro in your ears and noise canceling turns on instantly. The entire outside world completely gets shut out and you are able to just be alone with your thoughts. Now, I haven't been able to test this very much except in my school where the noise is uh, pretty loud in the cafeteria. I want to try this in a plane though, because that is going to be uh, probably one of the biggest factors on whether or not these are my favorite headphones of all time or not. Because if these are successfully able to cancel out all the noise on a plane or even come close, these will definitely be replacing my huge over the ear Bose headphones. And like I just said, I haven't had a chance to go on a plane myself. I have read a couple tweets like this one I found on Twitter this morning uh, talking about how well the AirPods Pro perform when you are up in the air 40,000 feet above our heads. So I am pretty excited now to try out the AirPods Pro on a plane with all these people talking about it. Uh, it's, it's pretty insane when you think about it that AirPods that are this light, you can barely tell that anything is even in your hand. It's crazy that these can cancel out all the noise around you. Of course, they're not going to do as good of a job as huge over-the-ear headphones that 
actually have more surface area to do their job, but it is impressive nonetheless that these are able to do such a good job. So apart from the physical changes to the stem, Apple added a uh, kind of a large grill on the outside. Now Apple says that this is a vent so you don't feel as much pressure in your ears when you put them in and this definitely works. I think Apple could have and maybe they were testing other versions of AirPods that had uh, kind of a less visible grill on the outside but in my opinion Apple made this grill nice and big and black so it stands out on the white shiny AirPod body and people can tell that you have the AirPods Pro. I'm not kidding, Apple really does think about this stuff in their research and development teams because they want these headphones to be recognizable and I really don't think they need a grill this big on headphones this tiny. So they added that little grill there on the outside just for uh, a little bit of flex. So on the old AirPods, to get anything done, if you wanted to pause your music or skip a track or go to the previous track, you'd have to physically tap the outside of the earbud, which could be kind of annoying if you're listening to music or something. But now, as you can see, there's this flat section of the stem on the AirPods Pro, which is force sensitive. And if you squeeze it, you can do different functions. So if you pinch and hold, it will switch it from transparency mode to noise canceling mode. If you click it once, it'll pause your music. If you click it twice, it'll go to the next track. And then you guessed it, if you click it three times, it'll go to the previous track. So you heard me mention transparency mode. I wanna explain what that is. So I'll go ahead and I'll pair them to my iPhone here so I can show you. So I'll put them in the case, close the lid, uh, bring my iPhone near, and all you have to do is open up the AirPods next to your phone and they connect right away. So if I take one out and uh, put it in my ear, you can see uh, it detects that the right one is connected. And if I go here into my audio settings, you can see you have different modes. So right now the AirPods are completely turned off and as I'm speaking, my uh, my voice sounds kind of clogged. If I go here into transparency mode, it lets the, uh, the air kind of flood into your ear and it kind of equalizes the pressure inside your ear canal and it gives a much more natural feel. The only way I can explain transparency mode without you guys testing it out is if you have the original AirPods, they pretty much sound like you have the original AirPods in your ear, but with no music playing. So this is, in my opinion, essential for headphones that have a rubber seal like this. Because in the past, I have avoided headphones like this uh, simply for the fact that they give me that clogged feeling whenever I put them in my ear. And with the AirPods Pro, that just doesn't happen because of that vent that I talked about before. Uh, the vent half for uh, function and half for flexing your AirPods uh, does serve a purpose for venting air inside your ear and it does work extremely well. So when you have the AirPods in your ear, they have the exact same function as last generation's AirPods. You can say, hey Siri, and it'll activate Siri on your iPhone, you can start speaking to it. One uh, suggestion I might have to Apple is if the AirPods are in noise canceling mode, as soon as it detects you say, hey Siri, if it could turn the AirPods into transparency mode, that would be unbelievable. Because when you're speaking out loud, if you've never uh, used noise canceling headphones, it's kind of hard to explain, but when you're speaking and you're using noise canceling headphones, your own voice sounds really clogged within your own head. Like I said, it's very hard to explain, but if Apple could turn on transparency mode the second that you start talking to Siri, that would really make the user experience much better for me. So I was mentioning how iconic the uh, AirPods look with the stem, but I want to compare them to the original AirPods just because it's uh, it's pretty staggering how something can instantly look old as soon as something new comes out. So here is the right AirPod, uh, the right AirPod Pro, and here is the right uh, second generation AirPod. The first thing that you can notice is the stem and the earpiece itself is more upright on the original AirPod, and on the AirPods Pro, uh, it has kind of more of a downward slant uh, to fit more in your ear. Uh, the AirPod Pro takes up less volume, and I really notice now when I'm wearing these, they don't hang down as much from my ear. And whenever I put these in my ear, uh, the second after I was using these, the AirPods Pro, these instantly feel old. This stem feels extremely long and outdated. Even though these are super high-tech earbuds that weigh pretty much nothing, they, uh, they feel instantly old as soon as you have the AirPods Pro. Uh, so kind of something neat there. Both headphones are fantastic, but the AirPods Pro, of course, have a little bit more of a futuristic looking design in my opinion. Also here, as you can see, something very small. The bottom of the AirPods Pro have a white cap, uh, whereas the bottom of the AirPods have kind of a fake uh, stainless steel chrome looking cap. Uh, I think the stainless steel chrome on the original AirPods looks kind of tacky, so I'm glad they went with a white color on the AirPods Pro. 
So I talked about sound quality. I compared them to the original AirPods. There is one more feature uh, of the AirPods Pro that really make a difference in my real world usage. So the AirPods Pro now have a slightly better water resistance than the original AirPods. The original AirPods from Apple didn't have any official documentation stating that they are water resistant. Even though many people found that they were extremely water resistant, the AirPods Pro now finally have an official water resistance rating. So I believe that these can survive rain and very small splashes. I do not think they can survive being submerged like the iPhone can, but this is good for most people because either they're going to be walking outside in the rain or they're going to be working out with them. And both of those activities involve a little bit of water uh, potentially touching the AirPod, but they never really involve submersing the AirPods uh, completely underwater. So I was outside walking and it started to rain the other day and the AirPods Pro were fantastic. I didn't have to worry about them. I didn't have to take them out of my ear. Whereas if I was wearing the original AirPods, although they were still slightly water resistant, I was a little bit more weary when I wore the original AirPods compared to the AirPods Pro in a wet, rainy environment. So are they worth it? For me, I spent 329 bucks on these with taxes and shipping. I think it was around uh, 360 bucks uh, Canadian, which is a lot for headphones. Uh, but for me, the magical experience of the AirPods is still something that blows me away every single day. And the fact that these now sound slightly better, have water resistance and have noise canceling, which is in my opinion, my favorite feature, uh, really does make it worth it for me. I think $250 is a more reasonable price tag, which is what they're actually priced at in the States. Here in Canada, our dollar is a little bit weaker. That's why you're seeing higher price tags. But I think the AirPods Pro are a fantastic choice uh, if you're looking to upgrade uh, to a better set of headphones. I recall hearing Tim Cook say in an interview that he believes people are going to buy AirPods Pro alongside their current AirPods. And to that, I really don't agree with Tim Cook. I think if you have the second generation AirPods Pro or even the first generation AirPods, I think you will be perfectly happy with those unless you need noise canceling so bad that your life depends on it. I really don't think you need to be spending the money on AirPods Pro just yet. Maybe wait another couple years until they upgrade them once again. So if you guys have any questions, tell me in the comments down below. I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, thanks for sticking around. If you made it to the end, uh, comment the word cucumber in the comments, just so I know you made it to the very end, uh, so I know that you are a loyal viewer. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't been uploading as much as you guys would like to see. I promise I'm gonna try to get better on that. I am gonna upload a little bit more frequently here. Thank you for watching. My name is Michael. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.